Hello, I'm Robin with Robin 33. I got asked by our local business association. Um, there is another business in town that's in charge of the um, parade for the Halloween. So they asked me to make four float awards and seven small um, costume awards. So I wanted to show you what I came up with. Now I'm actually using with this, I had these plate holders in orange. Um, I made a sign. On each sign it says what place they won. This is first place, float 2022. I found a way to make this medallion like um, ribbon around the edges using wire ribbon. So I've already made this one. I made this one for second place. So I thought I would take this time while I'm doing another one to record it for you so you can see exactly how easy this is to do. So I'm going to lower the camera a little and get you in focus here and let's get started. So basically all you need are some wired ribbon. Now I chose a two and a half and a one and a half that kind of complements each other according to whatever sign I was using. And then a ruler, scissors, and hot glue. All right, so with this one, I already went ahead. I actually put a hole at the top and at the bottom. I took pipe cleaners and I pulled it through the back because you're going to need this later on so it's I wouldn't cut it I actually use like a third of a pipe cleaner so basically what you're going to do and this would be easier with this but I'll do it this way basically what you're going to do is you're going to fold over a section like that okay then you are going to take a ruler and what I tried to do was leave about an a half an inch to three quarters of an inch and then what you're going to do is just fold it back over on itself pull this out and do it again so this is all repetition you're just folding to the edge of the ruler and pulling it out. So each time I leave about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch. I've seen other people do this with regular ribbon. They have to keep gluing in between each section. Um, this just makes it easier. Move it in so you can see what I'm doing. I have a lot of 50 yard rolls of ribbon and I am donating these. I will also film how I make the little um, medallions. But basically what I try to do is get half of it folded and then I attach it and do the other half. I found that this really holds the ribbon shape. There are some little things out there by Clover that you can use regular ribbon that does not have wire in it and it's just a matter of slipping it in, slipping it out. But when you're doing something this size, you really need to um, make it easier on yourself. I'm trying to keep my hand back here so you can see what I'm doing. But you're basically just folding it over top of the ruler to have my probo in here. I 
hope you can see that what I'm doing so hold it down fold it on itself pull your ruler out fold it down on yourself it just keeps it it keeps it neat and it actually looks like it's very uniform you can't mess up doing this way I tried using a piece of cardboard to the width of this but a ruler just makes it that much easier on yourself no cutting just folding and like I said the wire really holds it in place and keeps it neat slide out So like I said, there's just like a half an inch to three quarters of an inch here. Let me see if I can get it in closer for you. See if that helps. I do the one and a half inch first. And then I go back and I do the two and a half inch, but I glue the one and a half inch to the base first. I'm sure you could come up with something other to something else to use other than this, but this just worked perfect for me. And when you're gluing it around, it will curve around for you, so you don't have to. Um, you don't have to do it specially on a curve. You can do it in a long. I just needed the float awards to be bigger than for the individual costumes. So this just made it a nice size. this to do is kind of give me an idea how much further I have to go and I think it goes fairly quickly you just have to keep making sure that you're pressing down your wires to get that nice clean straight edge There are not a lot of videos out there on how to create an award for a float. I have signs in my Etsy shop, so I went and, and made these signs up. If you go to places like pixabay.com, they have free commercial PNGs which is the format that my um, software takes for sublimation. And this is my first year doing the awards. And I thought, wouldn't it be nice to have something that they can take home and hang up to? So I think we're about where I want to be. Now you could measure. I did not. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn it over. And we're going to be working off of this rim that is around here. So I kind of want to go that way. Right? No, wait. Let me look here. We want to go this way. So 
yes, we needed to turn it over. So I start here where I have the bottom. I do not glue this first little section because I'm going to pull this back when I get around. So what we're doing is we're actually gluing to the edge of that rim. And all I'm doing is gluing that down in place. You're going to end up gluing over top of it with your second layer. So this we want to get in and be real secure. Have it be real secure to the base. If you're worried about putting your hands in the glue, you can always use scissors or your ruler to kind of push things down. I've already burned myself twice today. Thank heavens I have aloe on hand. You might be able to even get away with a wreath base, but I had these set aside to make pumpkins and I never did. And see them, we're just bending this back flat. Sometimes it's best to lay it on this side so you don't um, you don't get the ribbon on top of the glue. You get the ribbon just in there. There we go. Now you can go back if you want and glue these separate sections. I found that when I put the second layer on there, it didn't cause an issue. But you have to make sure you get everything laid in that glue flat. These types of awards with this ribbon are very popular right now. So, this is just a way that you could do it with wired ribbon and not have to buy a special component. Now, I think I'm going to need a couple more folds. So, before we get to the edge, I'm going to create about six more. I do not know how much ribbon I used. But like I said, 50 yard rolls are good for this. You may not need all this, but now I'm going to cut this to make it a little easier on myself. And maybe if I go at it in this direction, it'll be easier for you to see. Just tuck that back down in there. I'm sure you could use even a plate or cardboard. Um, I just had these on hand and thought I would go ahead and use them. going to bend this back like I said if you want to go in here and put a little spot every so often you can do that at the end if you have all these little webs from the glue you can just run a hair dryer, a heated hair dryer on there. Now I can cut this off here because I don't need all that. But still need a 
little in there. And I put a nice long tie on here because I'm not sure if they'll be tying it on the float or not. Now all I'm doing is kind of making this presentable in here and taking the raw edges and turning them down and putting a fold on top of it just to give it a more finished look. see how that looks. Yeah, I got a lot of spider webs here from the glue. <laughs> so there's that. Now, I may just go ahead, not sure what color I want to use, if I want to go ahead with this next. I think that's got a nice color to it. I hope I have enough. So again, we're just going to do the same thing we did with this. I hope I have enough here. This was just some leftover that I had. I sell a lot of ribbon on Etsy and you know how you're cutting ribbon for a customer and then you get that splice section. I'm going to go ahead and stop it here and come back on when I have it all folded. I think this way it'll just speed it up for you. I mean, you saw me do all that on here. Then when I'm going to put it on, I'll come back on. Okay, we're back. I think we have enough here. So what I'm going to do is look here. And let's go ahead and start gluing this over top of the purple ribbon. Let me see. Make sure I have the right side. Yep. Now what I do with this is I I put the glue on up a little bit higher. I don't meet the edges of the ribbon. This is actually up about a quarter of an inch because you really want your ribbon to show. So see how it's up above the other ribbon? Kind of reminds you of a pleated skirt, doesn't it? Do you ever remember making those in school? Oh, I'm dating myself. Yes, we had home ec and sewing in school. <laughs> Please, if you wouldn't mind hitting the um, like button, follow button, share button, whichever button it is. I'd really appreciate it. You're just really basically sandwiching this layer against the purple layer.
And so you can, when you're done, kind of push it towards the front. Right, we're going to trim this. And we're going to lift this over. If you have really thin ribbon, you are going to want to be careful not to burn yourself. Now with this, I'm just kind of tucking it and overlapping it. So, ouch. See? how pretty that looks. Now I will be using this and I will be using this. This will be for the tail and this one will be for the um, handle or whatever you want to call it. The loop so I'm hoping they'll be able to use the loop to tie it on the flute. I hope to get pictures that day too. Alright, so now what we're going to do, we're going to do this at the bottom. So, thinking about that much. We want the same amount of ribbon. For this. Now I will dovetail. All three, all four ribbons. Always go down. Don't try and go up. Now we're going to turn this over. And Open this up. Check your measurements first. And do the same thing with this. I'm doing exactly what you would if you were tying this to a wreath. And then I like to squish those under so nobody's going to catch themselves on it. For the top, we're just going to use some of this purple. And we're going to do the exact same thing. Now, I'm going to dovetail the end of this just to keep it from fraying. And what I did with the other one, I actually put a little bit of glue in there. And I did that so 
it would secure it and not slip out. And then tuck these down back in so they're not going to hurt anybody. But there we go. There is our wired ribbon medallion float award. And then I will come back on and I will also show you how to do a little one. But there we go. Now with this one here, I actually put a bow at the bottom and a button at the top. This one I made a little ribbon medallion, put a button and a button just to kind of cover up this. So I'll find something to replace that or put in there in its place. Um, let's see. I have some little If it'll work. That's too much yellow. Let's try this again. All I did was I kept turning it around on itself and folding it a little bit at a time until I got it around in a circle and that the end of the ribbon came out the other side. And that's basically how I did my little medallion. Except I'm going to stop it there and then I'm going to bring the ribbon, attach it to the back, and bring it out on the other side and kind of put that up there. All right. Thank you.